All right, what's going on guys? It's Jeff back here on some more Vanguard. Thanks for all the new subscribers over the past few days. We're closing in on 5 million subscribers. So if you're new here, subscribe. I upload basically every single day. Today is Sunday. Uh, the Eagles play a little bit later, so I can just watch them lose later. I can make this first. Last night, I ended up finishing out the DP. Yeah, so uh, I got gold on the DP and now literally have one operator in every single category that is still locked just because I haven't gotten to the weapon category. As soon as I get there, I, I should be able to just have them all. So this guy, Dan, Daniel apparently is like freezing people's games I think one of the operator skins that he has is like weirdly buggy so also I don't know if anyone has mentioned this yet but um can we make it so it stops automatically going to filmic smile I just I like the regular this anti-aliasing not the filmic I like this one next is I guess I could do the MG I did contemplate using the pistols because the pistols are very easy and hardcore but I, I don't think that they're really going to change much at all uh, so I just figured, hey, might as well just do the MG. And then in that process, I also will be able to get those skins for these operators that I like. I really like Arthur, and I had a good time with Padma Body. I think Padma Body also has a really cool one right here. Yeah, I actually really like this one. This one's sick. Arthur's is all right. Constance is okay. Uh, everybody's, like, final one is obviously really sick. Hoping that they maybe add more somehow in the future. I don't know. I, however, did not expect the uh, bullet penetration kills to actually be as annoying as they were. I, I started figuring it out later. But, man, when I was initially starting, it was like I was shredding through players. But I was getting no progress on the bullet penetration. I would only ever get, like, a couple kills right at the start. You know, where everything is actually still intact. Especially on Dust House. And speaking of Dust House, we actually have shipment coming in, what, three days or whatever? It's Wednesday it's supposed to come out? I mean, technically speaking, we have already been playing sh shipment to a certain degree. This is basically a smaller version of Shoot House in my brain. This is how I view the map. It's obviously different. It is set up differently, but there is a main lane in the middle and then a bunch of shit on the side that, in my opinion, over on Dust House is much more healthy and promotes a much more uh, fluid kind of game than what uh, Shoot House did. In Shoot House, you would be able to sit up inside of that little office and overlook things, not have to move. This one, you can hold angles and shit, but eventually you'll get flanked. Good luck flanking people in Modern Warfare in general. Part of me is doubting it, but I would really hope that the shotguns get some sort of adjustment uh, before shipment comes out. I actually read a comment. Hold on, wait. This guy says, people are always crying and saying shit needs to be nerfed, SMH. The combat shotgun only seems that good because everyone is playing DOS House or however the fuck you spell it. Can't have anything good without motherfuckers crying, shaking my head. This guy shakes his head so much he has neck injuries, I'm sure. It's honestly kind of stupid how easy it is to control these LMGs with, like, barely any attachments on it. This is low level. I don't even have the double XP on, but I I'm just... It is stupid how little kick there actually is. Warzone's gonna be crazy, all I'm gonna say. If everything feels exactly like this, Warzone's gonna be wild. Apparently, something has come out where it was saying that the uh, overall sales for Battlefield and Call of Duty in general are being met with, like, lower than I guess that they had expected. Lower than Cold War, like both of it, it's weird. I'm not usually the type to sit there and stare at the, you know, uh, sale numbers and shit like that, but Call of Duty has always been one of the biggest selling games every single year, right? And even usually when it does see a decrease, it's still usually number one by a good sizable amount. I mean, I could think of a lot of different reasons as to why people wouldn't buy it. I mean, especially if they're seeing clips like this. I mean, what, what else are they gonna do? You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck. If you don't have your combat shotgun gold by now, you're not getting Atomic this year. I'm thinking shipment will definitely be easier for the wall bangs and stuff too. Like, it's not that it's that hard, especially with LMGs with how insanely fast they spray and how- Speaking of crazy, uh, that Max Holloway fight against Yair Rodriguez? Why? Ben Rothwell also got slept. I mean, he, he got into a firefight at heavyweight. It, it is what it is. I don't know what else you expect from Big Ben. Of course, the dude's gonna be just throwing bombs with other people. He got laid out by Delima. Crazy though, he was like sleeping but standing up. It was wild. Uh, Max Holloway versus Yair Rodriguez. Yair is like potentially one of if he would have been i feel like could be an interesting matchup for oh playlist update maybe an interesting matchup for volkanovsky but uh, max holloway ended up winning uh, i would say he won four out of the five rounds in my opinion but two of the judges gave it uh two rounds to rodriguez three rounds to uh holloway uh, and max took a good amount of damage in that fight uh, yair is a very very aggressive and dangerous fighter he just is small zone blitz is that a new one 
Is this what just came out or was that already here? I know we had Trifecta Mosh Pit. It's really funny that that guy really thinks that the combat shotgun is as strong. Of course, it obviously is in its element in the smaller maps because it is a shotgun. But understand this. How about you encourage Sledgehammer to leave it exactly as is and then go play Warzone against it? There's just a shit ton of things that are strong in this game, man. Now, obviously, the shotgun is not going to be left that way by the time we, uh, you know, make it over to Pacific or, or whatever. By the time that whole update comes out and Season 1 and all that other shit. Um, I'm a Hoping, though, by Wednesday, since it's got to be a, maybe a little bit more than just, you know, a playlist update and unlocking a map. I I'm hoping that some sort of balance patch will come through. Not that we have to wait for Pacific. Wait, did I cap this flag while loading in? They didn't even get a chance to cap yet. My character stopped. He was gonna bayonet me. That's another crazy thing that I ended up seeing. The bayonet with reach. Stop. Hello? Oh, my, my audio's back. This game is so fucking busted, it's fucking hilarious. I'm sure that seeing those clips of dudes running around through literally just, just piles of players with fully automatic shotguns that are just one shot lethaling everybody, there's no way that's a good look on Twitter. There's no way they're gonna let people go into shipment like this, right? I mean, here's the thing. Even if they adjusted just the combat shotgun, I mean, the Gracie's strong, the other one's strong. I, all of the shotguns are really fucking strong. Gung Ho is wild. I got bayoneted. Fun. Are we really doing this? Like, what the fuck? Are we I mean, you're gonna play it to your weapon strength, I'll play to mine. I spent years playing with weapons uh, against how they're supposed to be used. I'm running around quick scoping. I can't even imagine what sniping on this game is gonna be like against all this kind of shit. I, I doesn't even seem possible. The sad thing about the bayonet thing, though, it, is there even a challenge for the bayonet? Is there something that you're unlocking by doing it or no? They're just even worse. The other thing, like I can sit there and understand if people that shotgunning just for the sake of it to get through it. But actively using this shit and nothing else, they got the shit gold? Yeah, you, you just... You're gonna have a tough time once they get rid of it. Maybe you could quit the game like everyone else. Wait for Warzone so you can hide. People just don't stop. They just, they won't stop. There's just, it's... They're gonna use it until they don't use it. That's the other thing. Like, we can sit there and shame people as much as we want, but the reality of it is people have many more excuses than we have reason for them to not use it. They bought the game, they're gonna play the game how they want. Uh, it's in the game, they're gonna use it while they uh, are allowed to. Then they quietly quit after you take it from them. It's just kind of how it goes. In a perfect world, they would somehow be able to get all of these adjustments for all of these different types of weapons and shit like that within the next two or three days. That's just not possible. It's just not. There's just so much. I, I, I don't even know where they have begun. I, I'm trying to think myself. There has to be a, a, a board. I know that they got a Trello board, but they must have a physical board somewhere. What the fuck is the priority, man? I, I don't even I just feel like I have to say good luck at the end of each and every single one of these videos to these devs because I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> good luck. That's uh, that's all I got. I'm sorry.